z rozy, and bags, and zelen, zizlen, yelen, you right here, we got lady right here. And today we're going to make a canvas for your American girl doll. The supplies you're going to use, we did, um, we printed my American girl dolls that I have. If you only have one, just you can you can do one. But we did we did both of the American girls I ha had. We printed them on a piece of cardstock, and we cut around the edges. And then you're gonna need mud bud. And then any color, any color paint that you want. And the speed ball. The first step you're going to do is you are going to get the color background you want. We chose black because it matches my doll's room. And the paint tray is optional. You don't have to use a paint tray. Then you're going to paint your canvas. Make sure you get the edges right here. It'll look better if you get the edges. Once you're done painting it, let it dry. It's very important that it dries before you put the next layer on. If you're in a hurry, a hair dryer will really help it um, dry faster. And then, once it's dry, you are, you're going to take something textured like bubble wrap. And take whatever whatever color you want, and then you're going to move your canvas out of the way. Put whatever color you want right here. Then use your speed ball to roll it up there. Make sure all the circles get wet and paint. Once you've painted it, you're going to get your canvas and carefully, don't let it slide, carefully press it on there. Then really carefully Peel it up. And then, voila! Bravo, bravo. Yep, bravo. Once your circles have completely dried, you can leave it like this and put, and put your American Girls on. But I am going but. If you don't want to, you can take a little bit of whatever other color. I'm doing green because it's going to hang, because mine's going to hang above my doll's bed and I, and I have a green pillow and a yellow pillow and a pink pillow so it can match. Just the tiniest bit of paint will work. You can use a card, 
you like a hotel key or a piece of cardstock or something. Don't worry about being messy. It's art. It's supposed to be messy and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I've scraped on my green now. And I'm going to put my yellow in the bottom corner. Then scrape it with the other card. But just the tiniest bit because we still want to see our circles. You can use the side. And just make it how you want it. Once it's dry, you can, you don't have to, but I am going to add some stickles my painting for a little bling bling. little more. I'm going to make sure you can see it after the dolls have been put on. Okay. Then, you leave that to dry. Once that dries, we're going to put a layer of Mod Podge on. It's like a glue, but the cool thing about it, it's a glue and a glaze. So you're going to smoothly put Mod Podge on. Make it thin. And don't Glob it on. Once you put the Mod Podge on quickly, you are going to put the girls on and smooth them. Make sure there's no wrinkles in them. Then, you're going to put another layer of Watch Podge on. When you're covering it up, it's going to look like you're covering your whole background with white, but it's going to dry clear. And make sure you rinse your brush in water. And you need it to dry. Even when you think it's dry, let it dry more. Once it's dry, there's only one more step left to do. Dun, 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 dun. Sign it! It's your work of art! I'm going to use 
a gray since I have a black background. Then I like to put the year so I know when I made it. Dun da da! I hope you have fun with it.